Telling people how we're doing and what we are working on isn't always the best. Once we tell something to someone, they can project their opinions, judgments, or limiting beliefs onto us. They might not understand why you are changing careers. Maybe you want to move away or be with a certain person because everyone lives differently. They have a different life experience. What has helped me is to remember that they will never fully understand me because they're not me and that is okay. We have no control over what people will say about us, but we have control over over our own thoughts, our own feelings and actions. What we do with that is what we are held responsible for. So you are one step away from achieving your goals and it's you who is stopping yourself. Think about this, what they may tell you or what you may be telling yourself, is it even true? Does it apply to your life? The answer usually is no. Maybe you started a new job and you feel like you're not good enough. Ask yourself, is that even true? No, I have a degree. I work harder than anyone else. I'm learning daily to improve my skills. And you'll come to the conclusion that you are good enough. You can even ask yourself, how long have I even been in this job that I'm saying to myself, I'm not good enough? The answer to that is, I'm new, I just started. The mind often plays tricks on us. Appreciate the awareness. It is on us to catch the thoughts interpret them, reflect, and then flip them. I am good enough. I have blank years of experience. In the past, it took me six months to adjust to a new job, and then I excelled even more. I'm willing to learn, and I am learning. For some people, when this happens, they don't even know what to do with these thoughts. They may procrastinate or even give up and then want to start something else because maybe a fresh start will make everything all right. They say, I'm going to start something new on Monday or next month. Well, today is a fresh start with this breath is a fresh start. You can start over right here, right now in this very moment. The only thing that is stopping you is you focus. You may be blocking your own blessings because you think it's going to come in a certain way. Let go of the how and when it's going to come. My dad did not want me to go get my master's. He may tell you otherwise now, but I told him I wanted to and somehow I will make it work. I knew I'll have to take out loans and so be it. And I was willing to do it. I also knew that somehow I will get a scholarship or different means to pay for it. So I focused on finding the money to help pay. This included fellowships and working part time. I let go of how and when it it's going to come. I focused on what I wanted and took action. I focused on finding funding for college and took actions by looking at online boards, scholarships, and jobs. And somehow it just worked out with clear focus and letting go of the how and when it came. I just had to get out of the way knowing. With that said, I knew somehow it was going to come. I had this inner knowing it was coming. Work on this inner belief that what you want is real and it exists. In coaching, we have a goal clarity. It is very important. Even though you might use a session or sessions to clarify a goal, it's good enough. Seeking perfection and circumstances are stopping you from achieving your goal. It's kind of like with these videos. They're never going to be perfect, but as long as I know I tried hard enough and I gave it my best shot, as best I can upload and then move on to the next with the hope that my next video is going to be a little bit better than the previous one. I think it's important to talk about tracking and reflecting on your progress, tracking and reflecting on how you're doing, what you're doing that is working, what you're doing that is not working and how you can improve. I've noticed this consistently with successful people, including popular celebrities. One group of singers that I used to follow applied this exact method and I was shocked. When watching a reality TV show, I saw this group of singers complete monthly reviews. These monthly reviews, they talk about different areas of their lives, including professional goals, both group and individual goals, personal goals, and even discussed conditioning the mind and mental health services in their offices. This show showed me some of the behind the scenes of how they are reaching their success. Not only are they doing the internal work to work with like the reflection every month and maybe talking to someone about it, like a therapist and their group members, but also actively working towards their goals, such as group activities and coming into the American market to solo activities. This helps with knowing your purpose, keeping focused on the goals. Hopefully this will get you to the goal that you want faster in a better way because you're consistently learning about yourself and everything that influences you and that goal. If you're not doing the work, you're gonna keep wondering 
why you're not reaching your goals or reaching success is because there's nothing that you've changed to get the results. And maybe by reflecting and doing all that work will help you get there faster, just like the celebrity example I mentioned. Work on your happiness for yourself without the need of approval for others. Have a clear focus, reflect, and when you're ready, share your achievements with those that you trust and keep going. You got this and until next time.